is going on out there in ESP land. My name is Jeff. I'm with ESP Guitars, and I'm sitting here with the one and the only Stephen Carpenter of Deftones. Steph, what's going on? Not much. Just hanging out now. We've been doing the NAM thing for a long, long time. Um, you know, you've been. Uh, I can't even remember a year that you haven't come by the ESP booth, either performing or hanging or whatnot. Um, how long has it been now that you've been an ESP player? Since 94, so 26 years now. It's a long... 22 years, yes. We could do math, too. 22 years. Not everybody is so loyal to a specific brand of instruments, and some people just don't even care. They're just, I'll play whatever, you know. What has it been about ESP that's been worthwhile for you to hang out and play one brand of guitar in years? Um, I love everything. Um, obviously, the, the, uh, how beautiful the instrument is for one. I mean, that's the as soon as you see them, they're 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 gorgeous. But uh, I, I love, I just love the way they feel. And I, I've I've had other guitars in the in the past before I had them, and you know, and and I had this actually conversation the other day with some friends. I did the same thing with with my golf game. Like I I bought my set of golf clubs and I got them because obviously I wanted them. But the ones I really wanted, I should have just waited and got those. So that's what that's what happened with me with ESP. I really liked them to begin with, but I really have any access to it as I did the other other brands, and I went for them first, you know. But once I had gone through them all, I was like, that's it. I'm wasting time. Well, I think that that's a good thing, though. I mean, you have to have a comparison point. doesn't matter if it's a set of golf clubs, a car, a guitar. And sometimes, actually, it's maybe a better thing that a kid doesn't. On your 14th birthday, because then what are you going to move up from from there, and how are you going to learn to appreciate stuff that's super high quality? You don't even have a comparison point until then. But it would be nice getting that car. <laughs> hey, look, I got a 16 year old son, man. Let's not put any temptations yeah, no, out there. I, I absolutely agree, but it would be nice. <laughs> I think you got to, it's a good thing to do to, to learn on your own, and, and that way you have a better understanding. People can tell you about the feel of a guitar, but what does that mean to you until you know what your own standards are? Yeah, so I mean, like, I said, uh, for me, they've always been beautiful instruments, you know. But I, I always wanted to play one before, I, you know. I even got that, you know, the, the 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 true appreciation for their beauty, you know. I mean, I was like, I just, you know, I grew up on bands like Anthrax, and remember Scotty in back in the house. Like, oh my God, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about uh, about your use of multi multi string guitars and it's a conversation we've had in the past but it's something that still to this day we get all the time people who um, you know grew up like most people did with a string guitar and it's an intimidating thing the idea of adding a seventh perhaps an eighth string yeah, I, could, I could really help people out with that you know this this is the way I, uh, I use analogies a lot because it's just the easiest way to understand that but Six, the six string instrument was the instrument we, it's the standard, it's, it's a staple, it's what's been around forever, everybody's familiar, and when you think of guitar, you immediately think that. But when the sevens came along, you know, they, 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 the people were, did the same thing for the seven string as they do for the eight string, and now we'll be doing for the nine strings as well. And, you know, I, I think to myself, is there a tango? I hope not. I don't know if that's even possible. It's going to be ridiculous. But so the mentality is all the same. And you're talking about the intimidation. And I'm saying, well, it's very simple. Six string is the standard. It's the staple. That's where all the rules have been have been laid out. Seven string and eight string and beyond. This is where we go into the point of our lives where we start to break the rules. You start to live off the grid. Stop. Stop playing by the rules. You're losing. You are missing out. Break the rules. That is the eight string. That is the nine string. You don't know it. I don't know it. But I'm going to have fun breaking what I don't know while I'm doing it. We've talked before about the fact that, you know, there's all these different styles, different ways to approach a guitar. And it's amazing. Just like there's every person has their own personality and their own set of experiences and, and their it's background. It's really just that personality, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I think so. So, I mean... You know, sometimes it's funny because you learn by imitation, you learn by listening and, and listening to other people and trying to imitate what they do, but that doesn't necessarily allow you to develop your own voice as a guitar player, your own style as a guitar. What did you do? Because the one word that's used for you, and has always been used for you since you broke onto the scene in the 90s with Deftones, um, is innovative. And how does a guy become an in innovative guitar player? The only thing I can even say for myself personally, like I said, I've never never wanted to do what everybody else was doing i mean as far as like you know like if, if there if there was a happening scene of this it serves me no purpose to try to be that scene that scene exists why do i want to do that i'm just going to go over here and try that 
probably won't work, but let's find out. I think that it's possible, and this is the thing where people get hung up. You can still appreciate what other people are absolutely, doing. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and you can look at that and recognize and go, okay, yeah, and you can hear, oh, that guy has probably been listening to this guitar yeah. player or a band. I didn't start the eight string, but I play it. <laughs> and the band most known for it, you know what I mean? I got I got all day love and, and have no problem. Someone says, oh, that kind of sounds like I'd be like, oh, that's great, I love them. Yeah, and that's, you know what, people think like that's, yeah, people think that that's like an insult of some kind. It's like, no, thank you, man, because I love that band. And if, if, if you recognize something that I got from uh, from them as an influence, that's nothing but a compliment as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and and, and yeah, totally. And, and everything is, is, is secular like that. You know, like I was you know, in 94, back to that con you know that timeline, uh, that's when I first met Max. And, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, getting ready to put out our first record at the time, and, and, and they were... That's a, they they were fans of us from from that record, you know. It's like, oh man, that's a trip because we love you guys, you know. Like they they, they had like this. He, Max is like, oh yeah, we stole that part from you and we put it in here. I was like, well, that's crazy because we stole that part from you first from this record. That's <laughs> awesome, and that's a good you know, that's a good feeling. You know, so we're instantly connected, you know, like just on one little piece, you know. But that's sometimes all it takes. It doesn't have to be an entire album, an entire song. It could be a, a, a chorus or a, or a riff, yeah. Yeah, and 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 it's neat when you can identify that. And I know where they, that guy got that. And if you have if you have that opportunity to then connect with that person and talk to them on a musician to musician level, it's fun to compare and contrast. What's great is being able to throw people's little bits in, but you don't even know that it was their little bit because you threw it in in a different way. Yeah. It was exactly the same, but the way I did it, you didn't even notice it. Yeah, yeah, so true. <laughs> Let's move the conversation a little bit over to uh, to guitars. Um, everybody is well aware that. Steph has signature series uh, guitars uh, uh, for both LTD and ESP. Um, but this year, uh, there's been an update to your uh, your guitars. You've switched uh, pickups over to Fishman Fluent. Is that That's correct? What was the reasoning for that? What was Fluent's pickups that that spoke to you? Uh, it's feeling, you know, the way they the the, the sound. I, I I had initially when I started playing guitar. You, when I was young, I'd, I'd used a lot of different pickups just to try them all out. And, you know, I say a lot, maybe four or five. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't go through the entire arsenal of pickups there were, but I had four or five different ones I had tried out. And I ended up using for Duncan JB. That was my the pickup that I used all the way up till 2000, and when I started switching, when I switched over to the EMGs, which I used up until this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, when when I was approached at first, you know, I was like, uh, you know, I, I've been using these forever. You know, I wasn't there like, you know, we'll just try them. I was like, oh, yeah, let's try them. So we put them in and uh, I jammed out on my guitar for, you know, nearly an hour straight that day, you know, and uh, I was just like, I had that same feeling back in the day. And I was like, I don't even got to talk about it no more. This is it, you know. And then from there, we, you know, we just started making them. You know, we, we've gone into the, full, you know, the full production of it. And I'm like, let's do it. You know. Can you? I know it's always hard to articulate in 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 English words. Uh, you know, so. I feel like the clarity for me, you know, is, is so much more, um, you know, noticeable now. And uh, I mean, uh, just uh, they like I said, for me, it was a feeling thing. They felt great, you know, and uh, that's it. I don't really. I could go into details about it, but the details I don't really know, and it would just sound foolish well but but that's the point i mean i don't think you know, there are spec guys and then there are there are vibe guys you know and we have people who've been playing our guitars a long time and i'll say what's the uh what's the neck wood on that guitar and he's like like wood it's some kind of wood you know and why why should it matter to that guy if it's performing and doing everything that he wants it to do but i uh, and you know like i said i've said it before and i'll say it again you know i'm, I'm very easy and i like things because they just say look beautiful usually if you take the time to make something look nice that means you've actually put some effort into making it nice that's a really that's a, a that's a much more valid point than i think most people realize and and i think that's very true let's talk about what's going on with you musically right now um you know fill us in what are you what are you up to right now um i uh, sitting around waiting for the release of our new record um comes out april 8th and we have some dates in in texas in march and uh, uh show here um there's nothing that i can remember or recall right now for april but maybe there's something there but may june off to europe for some festivals out there and then uh you know just the whole process again that we've done now you know with the new release and go play for all the people that want that are interested and want to hear it 
What uh, what's going to be the reaction? I know you can't predict that because that's not your job to to make people react a certain way. But how are people going to feel about this compared to Deftones albums? It'll be like you know when you're playing Guitar Hero and you're messing up, and they're all boo, boo, tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> I'm 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 going to have to say I, I doubt that, but but I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. Uh, what about you personally, man? Uh, you're a golfer. Yeah, I love some golf. Love some golf. You've been playing the last couple days. Yeah, got some rounds in. Feels good. You're better off than I am. I just been getting ready for the Nam show. Oh. Lucky me. Hey, you know what though? Let's let's be realistic. As much as this thing sucks, it's not sucky at all. It's all. It, it, it's it, the only reason why it's even remotely considered in that negative way is because you don't get a chance to get out and really do everything you want without this constant grind of stop and go stop and go you're like i was just trying to go over there and i stopped 20 times on the way it's it's, <laughs> it's so true and i got a piss and i can't even go there look i would feel like an idiot especially considering the fact that most of the people looking at us on the stream right over there um would would do anything to come by a damn show just one time in their lives and here we are year after year being exposed to the Rebel, finest the finest all, all salty about it <sighs> yeah i mean really i mean we could be digging ditches in the desert or something and it's like oh poor you you got to be around the best musical gear and rock stars that's that's a, you get a lot of sympathy out there boobs hanging out everywhere yeah i mean it's terrible it is terrible well <laughs> i think on that note steph thank you once again thanks for being a friend of esp thanks for being a friend of me hey, thank you and uh thanks for the interview and and all right We'll be back later. We've got more live performances coming up, more interviews, more product spotlights, more of every. See you next time. Bye, guys.